हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन इंजीनियरिंग वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अगेन विद सम न्यू केसेस फॉर द अर्थ प्रेशर डायग्राम्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड फोर केसेस द फर्स्ट केस सॉरी थ्री केसेस द फर्स्ट केस वाज अबाउट द ड्राई सॉइल एंड देन आफ्टर दैट वी स्टडीड अबाउट द अनसेचुरेटेड सॉइल आल्सो आफ्टर दैट वी स्टडीड अबाउट द सॉइल विद द वाटर टेबल एट अ डेप्थ एच वन एंड द थर्ड केस वी स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वाज अबाउट द stratified soil in this today's video we are going to study about the next two cases the first case will be about the soils subjected to the surcharge and the second case for the today's video will be the submerged soil so to start i am taking here the fourth case and the fourth case is for the soil subjected to surcharge if surcharge is present let this is your retaining wall and there is a surcharge present at the ground level the value of surcharge is a q kilo newton per meter square we are going to study till the depth of h1 and the value of gamma and phi are also given so to start with we already know that sigma h dash is equals to again ka into sigma v dash for the active case and in that case we can easily plot the diagram for the vertical stress to start we already know that as there is no water table the whole surcharge will be carried by the solids only and hence the effective vertical stress will be equals to q at the top level but as we move downward this q will remain constant but the effective stress will increase because of the self weight of the soil at the depth of h1 the effective stress will become equals to gamma into h at this level so the total effective stress will be equals to q plus gamma into capital h i am taking here is capital h only so this is the diagram for the effective stress but you can easily calculate the diagram for the horizontal stress that will be equals to k into sigma v dash at the top you can see that at the top of vertical stress is q we have to simply multiply ka into this q this will be the earth pressure at top after that as the value of k is not changing you can easily see this ka into q will remain constant but as we move down the effective stress increased by gamma h and hence the horizontal stress will also increase by ka into gamma into h so the total value will be equals to k into q plus k into gamma into h this will be the earth pressure diagram in this particular case and you can easily calculate the earth pressure force the earth pressure force for this particular diagram can be easily calculated using the areas of these two geometrical figures the area of first figure that is the rectangle will be equals to k into q is the base height is h whereas for the second triangle it will be equals to half k into gamma into h into height as capital h so this will be the earth pressure force you can easily calculate the line of action of the force by using the wernerian theorem as i described in the previous video also now we are moving towards the second case and the second case i am taking here for the video will be for the submerged soil in the submerged soil as we know that there will be a water level after that soil solids will be present let the water level is of depth h1 and after that soil solids are also present in this particular case first of all we have to plot the diagram for the effective stress and we can see that the effective stress will remain zero for the first h1 depth as there are no solids present here so you can see that effective vertical stress will be zero till this level and after that below the water table effective stress increases by the value of gamma submerged for depth h2 the total effective stress will be equals to gamma dash into h2 whereas if we are trying to calculate the value of sigma h dash it will be equals to k into sigma v dash and it will be simply zero till the depth of h1 after that it will increase 
as the increase in the effective stress is gamma dash into h2 the increase in the horizontal stress will be equal to k into gamma dash into h2 fine this will be the horizontal stress because of the solids whereas as the water is also present there will be pore water pressure in the horizontal direction also and that will be equals to the pore water pressure in the vertical direction according to the pascal law and hence you can easily say that horizontal stress in both the two depths will increase with the rate of gamma w and hence at the bottom it will become equals to gamma w into h1 plus h2 whereas for the first layer it will become equals to gamma w into h1 and after that the increase will be equals to gamma w into h2 you can easily calculate the total earth pressure force by calculating the diagram for these diagrams area for the diagram can be divided into some geometrical figures first second third and fourth and the area for these four geometrical figures can be easily calculated as the dimension for all the figures is already calculated so these were the simple cases for the earth pressure for specially that is cohesionless soil there are some more complex cases like if what will happen if the backfill is inclined and what will happen if the retaining wall is inclined those cases will be taken separately in the next video till then padhte rahe badhte rahe happy engineering